it's Wilma, welcome to my video. Today I'm gonna be doing another studio vlog because I've really been enjoying them even though I only made like one and now I'm like, oh, I love studio vlogs, but I do. So <laughs> if you watched my last video, I think it should be my last video where I did like a realistic week in my studio. I got sick at the end, so I couldn't keep filming um, and I just recovered from being sick. This is my first day back in the studio, so I'm probably just gonna take it easy. I don't wanna do like a like actual like finished, like what am I trying to say? Like a painting or like a drawing, like a serious painting or drawing, if that makes sense. I kind of just want to work in my sketchbook right now and do things kind of just to practice and just for fun because I don't know I feel like that's where I'm at right now with my art so that's what I'm gonna do I think I'm just gonna be doing a few portrait studies in my sketchbook in gouache paint maybe that's my plan um we'll see how it goes um but yeah that's about it I hope you'll enjoy the video also can we do a fit check because like my outfit is so cute today Okay, anyway, let's make art. <laughs> Okay, so as I said, I just wanted to do a few portrait studies and I've really just been in a phase with my art right now. Well, I don't even know if I would call it a phase, but I just feel like doing things just for fun and I don't want to put meaning into anything right now because to be honest, I felt like I was getting a little bit burnt out on that. So I've just really been having a lot of fun doing stuff in my sketchbook and just not putting that much pressure on myself with my art. Um, so I am sketching in my moleskin watercolor sketchbook and I started off with doing this portrait. I'm doing all of this in gouache paint um, and this portrait was so much fun to make. I wanted the page to be filled with different expressions and fun expressions and I used reference photos from the app Telegram from the group Kane Joe. Um, I'll link their Instagram down below. You can like download the app and get a bunch of references for free there are so many different photos in there um, and I found these ones that I loved. I was so excited to paint this one with the face mask and the fun expression. Um, it just instantly stood out to me and I was like I need to paint that. So that's what I did and as I said I had so much fun with this one. I ended up doing three different portraits and I think that this one was probably the one that was the most enjoyable to do um, and I just love how it turned out and I don't know, it was just such a fun expression and I haven't worked super much with gouache paint. I think this was like, I don't know how many portraits I've made with gouache paint, but it's not a lot. Um, this might be like my third, maybe fourth portrait in gouache paint, but I love it. I think that gouache paint is such a fun technique to use. You can play around with it a lot and it's just like very, I don't know, it definitely takes a little bit of learning to get the hang of it, but I just really enjoy it and it's literally like the only technique that I've been using lately because I'm just obsessed with it. So yeah, I try to like really make this portrait stand out by using a lot of colors and contrast and all that and I really like how it turned out. Welcome to another day in my studio. Today I'm just gonna continue on this sketchbook page. I really want to finish it today, but realistically I feel like I'm probably gonna finish it tomorrow. Um, but I would like to finish it today. I need to do some stuff to fix this portrait. The eyes look a little bit weird, but I'm just gonna continue with this. Hopefully I can get it done today because I honestly just want to move on. Like I feel like I have so many things, art things that I need or not need, but want to do. Um, so I'm gonna try to get this done right now. And yeah, let's do it. Okay, so I did end up fixing the other portrait a little bit and then I moved on to the next one. 
So I think this portrait was the one that I struggled the most with, or I don't think I know it. It definitely was a difficult one for me to paint. I think it's because of the angle of the face. If you can tell, he's kind of like leaning his head back. Um, and that made it really difficult because I usually... Honestly, I paint a lot of side profiles and I never really uh, paint people from like straight forward. And especially with this angle with him leaning his head back, it was very difficult for me. Well, not very difficult, but it was definitely a little bit more complicated than usual. Um, and it was also very difficult to paint beard in gouache paint. Um, I don't know, but eventually I think I kind of got the hang of it. I'm not really sure, maybe. <laughs> I also ended up losing a little bit of footage for this one, which is sad because I lost like all the good parts when I made the portrait actually come to life. So that is definitely a little bit sad. But yeah, overall, I did struggle quite a bit with this one. But I don't know, I feel like it's really good to to struggle I guess like that kind of sounded weird but it's definitely good for the art to be challenging for you to make it because you're gonna learn so much um so even though it was quite a struggle for me like I'm still happy about that like I'm I'm glad because I learned stuff you know and that's how that portrait turned out I like it a lot when I was finishing it up I was like mm, I don't know if this is good but now I'm like oh well I actually do like that and I think it's pretty good so I'm happy Okay, so this next one is the last one. Um, it's like a very expressive expression. And when I saw the photo, I was like, I really need to paint this. I've never done portraits of people with super expressive facial expressions. I think I've made like one maybe, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like most of my portraits are just people not smiling, like a pretty serious face, I don't know. But it was fun to go out of my comfort zone and to try something different and painting teeth and mouths are... It, I don't know, I, I like it. It's definitely a little bit of a challenge, but I also think it's so much fun. This specific portrait had a very interesting um, mouth and the, with the expression and all of that, so yeah. I think this one didn't take me as long as the other ones, which I'm grateful for because even though I enjoyed making them, I kind of just wanted to move on to the next thing, as I said um, in the clip earlier. But yeah, overall I had like a real good experience painting all of them, even with the ones that I struggled with. I still enjoyed it and it was really good practice and I don't know, I just really enjoyed it. And then lastly, I ended up adding some hands, kind of just to fill out the space, to be honest. I could have probably just done maybe just like a color, but I don't know. I felt like I had to add hands because it's almost like my trademark. I used to do a lot of hands um, and I really enjoyed painting these as well. I feel like even though it's a sketchbook, I still wanted it to be good. It, like good, but still kind of loose and not too serious. I don't know. But yeah, I had so much fun making it and I'm very happy with how it turned out. Like, I think it looks so good and that makes me happy because when I make good art, it makes me feel good about myself. <laughs> Okay, so I finished my sketchbook page. This is what it looks like. I started this a week ago. I don't know if it's supposed to take that long to do a sketchbook page. Probably not. I've just really been enjoying doing more like serious type of work in my sketchbook because I used to be like very, I don't know, I didn't used to do like serious work in my sketchbooks. Um, but now I feel like it's fun to, I don't know, do that. 
but I'm so good at explaining things. I think I like this portrait the most. I struggle the most with this one because it's kind of from a weird angle. It's a little bit like shot from beneath, like down here. I don't know, like, do you know what I'm trying to say? <laughs> Um, and then I just did some hands as well and I just added these small patches of color to like fill out the page a little bit more and I really like it, um, I enjoyed it and yeah, I really love to work in gouache paint, it's such a fun technique and yeah, I'm very happy with it, I'm excited to post it, I made like four TikToks on it, <laughs> I'm a TikToker now, it's no big deal, okay, thank you for listening. <laughs>